we actually, throughout the whole summer when we were rehearsing and recording, didn't want to play any of the old songs. It was completely fresh. I mean, I was... Very difficult. Was that a rule you laid down? Yeah. No, 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 it wasn't. Yeah, it was one of my rules. Yeah, but you didn't know about it. It just no, happened that way. It's yeah. pretty much. In fact, we've done two weeks of rehearsals and we still haven't played that track yet. We still haven't relearned smoke on the wall yet. We probably will. Yeah, we refuse to play smoke. But well, the know. problem is because we all think it's in different keys. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm convinced it's a G, and Ian is not. I'm not in any case. You're not what? In any case. Huh. Well, at least a couple of you have, have composed or dabbled in the classical mold of a kind. Or at least done things that were more lush or elaborate. You know, or whether it was going to be very straightforward, hard, edged. Uh, so there was no preconception to this album. We didn't actually sit down at that meeting in Connecticut and say what kind of album we're going to make. Uh, we just decided to make an album in the same way that we made albums in the first place. It was really going to the studio and whatever happens, happens. Uh, it's fairly spontaneous. And uh, there was certainly no preconception about making it a kind of classical album or an echo of the past or... As a matter of fact, it would have been very easy for us to be overcome by the feeling of, of what was expected of us and be a bit overawed by it. I, I don't think we were at all. As a matter of fact, we were extremely underawed by it. And we were kind of flippant in the world and, and we had a lot of fun and we were basically very lazy. And the album was really absolutely rubbish. <laughs> We are joined by John Lord and Ian Gillan from Deep Purple here to mark the release of this LP, Perfect Strangers, which has been a long time coming, although there's been numerous rumours for many years that Deep Purple were going to reform. Uh, Ian, I was reading last night in Pete Frame's book of Rock Family Trees that when you first joined Deep Purple, you were on the princely sum of £25 a week. Twenty. Twenty. Mm. Has it improved since then, your Not a lot. rejoining?